This is Real Estate Talk Boston. I'm joined right now by local agent Jennifer Gelfan from Keller Williams. And Jennifer, it's that time of year. We've come through the summer months, or summer's about to end. Yes. People list their homes, right? It's that time. I hope of, so. <laughs> that, that time of market. We inventory. We need. We need it right now. What are? What should a seller or potential seller be thinking about right now if they're going to enter into the fall market? They should really be thinking about pricing, accurate pricing right now, because we've seen a nice trend through the spring of strong sales, increased prices, but that doesn't necessarily always translate to a third quarter ramping up in the same incremental increases. They should pay attention to what their real estate broker advises in terms of uh, precedence and comparables and pay heed to the fact they've got a short window before people start turning to the holidays and the days get shorter. So pricing is, is very important right now. Not leaving money on the table, but pricing appropriately to where their past comparables are dictating. And I think you hit a very important point in talking it through with your real estate broker. There's some for sale by owners out there. You need to be working with a professional. Yes, I mean, the professionals are living, breathing in the moment, day-to-day -day real estate. So they know specifically the niche of product that person is selling, how it's performing, and what the nuances are um, of that market so that they can, so that any seller wants to sell at the best possible terms and conditions. And those agents will know what those terms and conditions are more so than someone just going on some of the normal websites and trying to hunt down asking prices that never, it's never most effective. Sure, and there's so much more that goes into selling a home. It's not just putting it up on a website. Absolutely, you know, the, the biggest thing is presentation because I, I know you've heard this before, but emotion will make people act and walk into a home that is beautifully staged, that looks like it's a page out of a magazine, and people will react to that. Walk into a home where clothes are on the floor and the shades are pulled and it hasn't been cleaned. I mean, you can use all the logic in the world, but it's not going to, to touch someone emotionally. And I think a lot of people um, look at staging. Staging has definitely become more prevalent in in this market, in East Coast in general, it started on, on the, the West Coast in California mm -hmm. years ago. It's really become more prevalent now. Uh, it really is important to stage a home for those reasons. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Because that will also translate into beautiful presentation online. You know, you can be plastered everywhere and every, all these different internet sites and, um, and how you present on those sites, not just MLS, is important. Beautiful photos, virtual tours, etc. So if it's staged beautifully, it will show beautifully. Staging is just not a cost, it's an investment. Correct. Now Correct. Let, let's talk about the greater Boston market in general. Do uh, you see any hot neighborhoods out there? Everybody's looking for that, for that next place. You know, I don't necessarily think there is a specific hot neighborhood right now. Um, you know, within Boston, and the surrounding suburbs, there are there are a number of them. I mean, you could say Seaport's hot. You could say Cambridge is always hot. You could say South End is. I mean, there are a lot of hot places. Um, but in general, I think that we are seeing some stability through the summer um, versus one or the other. You know. Leaping up um, to take take the lead above the rest. Well, we're very lucky to live in the city that we do, yes, right? Yes. It has so much to offer, and that continues to keep prices stable. And we'll see Correct. the highs and lows, right? But very lucky overall in our market. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Jennifer. And if you'd like to connect with Jennifer directly over at Keller Williams, you can check out jennifergelfin.com. And remember, we have more real estate tips just like this one right here on Real Estate Talk Boston.